Hello, good people of the internet. Today we're playing Sandwalkers, which is a roguelike exploration game with some turn-based combat. We're going to jump straight in, because if you don't know what an exploration game is, I guess we can find out together. I have played this for a while, um, and it jumps you in with the Crystal Library. So this is a roguelike, so this is your meta progression, and you have these uh, memory points. Probably makes no sense at the moment. Uh, what we're going to do is just shove some and get some more shields, and then we'll explain some of the game. So each run... You are a caravan starting at this tree, and you're trying to get to another tree. A mystical tree which is in the distance. Uh, except between the two trees of fertile... Well, which have fertile land around them, then there's kind of deserts and stuff, and the idea is that these people are trying to... Uh, there are botanists who are trying to seed more trees and bring the world back to how it maybe was before. Anyway, you have on a run a caravan, and in the caravan it's made up of four people. And so each time you run a caravan, you get a choice of people to put in. Uh, we're going to choose four people here. And each one has a different class. So this is a teller, a botanist, and an aromancer. They all have a name. They all have a level, I think. I haven't found the meta progression, which gives you someone who's level 2. I haven't found the meta progression, which gives you a rarer type of class. And they all have stats, and the, um, so, you know, they have kind of core thing, uh, I think, I think the 6 core strengths, uh, well, stats. It's only showing 4 here, so maybe there's only 4. Um, they have health, shield, and they also have traits. So these are kind of random, the traits. So you can see that this botanist uh, takes less damage, but they also they fall below 75% health and the caravan loses hope, which is maybe not what you want. Um, and the skills, uh, they have two skills, which are the same, I think, for each class, so the turret always starts with these two. They also have an, a skill for the map, we'll get to the map. And then there is also a well, we'll get to that in a second. So we're just going to choose quickly this guy. Uh, the assassin I find very useful. Do they have a good uh, trait? They do. So we'll go with that. And with these two, we probably need someone who's a bit more tanky, although we don't like that skill. Um, more damage from the back rank. So we'll go with this guy. Uh, this guy has health regen, actually. Could be useful. Uh, and also they can remove sand on the world map. I don't know, we're just going to go with damage for now. And now we need a protector. Max supplies. Let's go with the protector. Okay, so Crystal Library is what we saw before. That's your meta progression, getting these memory points. Uh, the caravanners themselves have the, well, someone who's writing the stories, a bard of sorts. But the memories get rolled up into the balls, which even if you all die, the ball kind of rolls back magically. I don't know. There's a quest board, um, which doesn't show anything. This is the main world. Uh, so we start with this tree. You can look at the region map. And I've made it as far as this tree, which is kind of the first quest. It's not that difficult to get there. I can, you can do it on your first run easily. And then I've tried to explore a bit more. But the thing that it wants us to do, if we look at the quest log, is to get to the Mother Tree. This is the main quest. There are a few main quests. Um, so I've already completed a couple, but there are more to come. It's telling me that I am... Well, it recommends having a high level. So... Um, and it tells you how many caravans you've lost doing these goals. Um, you can, if you look at the map, you can see, yes, I've kind of gone off in different directions and maybe you don't want to do this because this leads to lots of danger. Anyway, so you have a certain number of supplies. I've already upgraded my guys to have more supplies. And moving each square costs us a number. So we're going to go down here because this gives us more supplies, but in doing so, each step costs us one 
supply. So it costs us five to get here, but they're only getting it gonna get twelve. So our supplies goes back up. Uh other things so this is our all of our people. They're all level one, as we knew. Uh if we fight battles and we can get experience points and they will be able to level up to come stronger. Um each run with each caravan the uh, supply drops effectively reset, so it doesn't really matter if you're just going across from one place to the, to the next. You can just pick them all up, maybe. Um, that one was a big one, and also... Oh, we didn't actually get the uh, supplies from here, because to do that we needed to use an action, so you'd, it says we needed to macerate them. Um, and the same is true here, so this isn't actually giving us anything. Um, you can move the round with the right mouse click, uh, but otherwise you just... Well, I suppose we should come up with a plan with what we're actually trying to do. Why don't we try and make a way to this place? We probably won't do it all, because it can be quite long. Uh, but I'll show you combat as well in a second anyway. But first we're going to... Yeah, well, let's actually let's do combat. But we're just going to go across. Um, and one thing I haven't mentioned is that this costs us one to five, but there are different uh, costs depending on what you are traveling on. So uh, this over here is a dense cactus field, and it would cost us more. Would it cost us more? No, still same one. Anyway, we'll just go across. I think these ones maybe would. So on the map, you can find bad guys, and before it gives you a choice to move people around we probably want to put our protector guy at the front this guy had a special trait which said they inflict more damage from the back rank so we'll leave them there i mean we, we want to protect our assassin uh we can see the items we have but i haven't been able to use them i don't think anyway let's click start fight so the order is based on a speed skill. So our assassin is really quick, so that means they go first, but then they are going to go next. Uh, well, followed by my guy, so this is the order. And the assassin is quite powerful, so we're probably just going to try and kill this guy. It says that they have resistance, but it shouldn't matter too much. And we did in fact kill him. If you break the shield, so this smaller icon down here is the shield, then the enemy will be stunned. Um, so it will stop them doing their action. Given the, It also shows you what action they're going to take, so this guy at the top is going to use Team Spirit, and it shows which target they're going to uh, target, which person they're going to target. So they're going to target this guy, because it's a, a buffing thing, it's going to give them defensive stance and going to give them 10 shield, whereas this person is going to do 16 damage uh, to one target. It says it's highlighting two, but uh, that's the option. They have a choice of either one of these two. They've chosen this one. That's going to do 16 damage, which the shield would not be able to hold. So we want to stop this guy attacking, which means we either need to do 24 damage to stun them by taking away their shield, which from these two options we can't, or um, we... There wasn't many other options, but we're lucky in the sense that our mockery applies weakened, and weakened means that they can deal 50% less damage with the next attack. So if we use that attack on this person, um, we also did break the shield so they're stunned anyway. Um, when you hover over, it does show you the damage that it's going to do. So they're on 34, and it says we're going to do minus 11 to that shield. And they'll be left on 23. Um, but I suppose it's because they had resistance. We right click them. Oh yeah, it shows it. So they had a weakness to the, the ability that this person did used. Um, you may ask, how do I know that? Well, the symbol above here, which says weakness, it's the same symbol which is next to the attack. Uh, you'll say, hey, there's actually two symbols. That's true. The damage that the person does is based on their uh, their own stats, so this is intelligence that this attack is based on. 
but it is of a certain type. And so it's doing magic damage. I don't know what that is. Maybe magic. Um, so yes, they're weak to magic, but they're resistant to physical attacks. And this is an agility-based attack, which is physical, and this is the same. So, um, But it also has side effects. So this one does 23 damage and does bleeding. And this one does 40 damage, but if they have a shield, then it does extra damage. Anyway, so we could just hit this guy and it says... It says minus two. I think that's a bug. The game is in early access, by the way. Uh, so don't expect everything to work uh, amazingly straightforwardly. Anyway, they were both stunned when they... Then when they go through their turn, they become they just you know skip their turn. They are now unstunned, so they will do this attack next. They're going to do Team Spirit again. They're going to attack. So we could attack the one who's going to attack, and that will kill them. So let's do that. Which means this guy changes actually what they're going to do from Team Spirit to not Team Spirit. And we can charge, which does damage to the one behind, so there isn't anyone there. Or we can do Easy Target, which um doubles damage from the next attack, and this person is going to use their powerful backstab attack. It sure breaks them, and we don't really have to worry about these things. There are no charges for your attacks, you don't have to like limit your usage or like MP, there isn't any of that. Anyway, from the battle we gain experience, and we gain some items. Uh, both of them, it says, can be traded for more useful items in the shop, so they're not actually that useful as items themselves. The experience you can use to upgrade your people. I want to upgrade the assassin, so you click on the assassin and you click level up. Simple as. Then you get a choice of a skill that you can choose. So going from level 1 to level 2, you get a new skill. Going from level 2 to 3, you get to upgrade a skill. And I imagine, you know, as you progress, the, there is a set. Uh, Thing of string of things that happen. The abilities that you get here are not always the same. I assume this square is the same common uh, square that appeared in the original character selection. So there may be like rare and legendary skills to come in the future. Uh, but we can just choose. So this one would do damage to all four targets because it says four targets here. This one only to two targets. Um, so you can choose, do you want like wide damage or slightly wide damage, or do you want to uh, make someone deal more damage? I guess that's saying they can only target themselves. I don't know. No, it's the caster is going to get thorns, so who knows. We are going to go simple and say that we want wide damage. Sure. And these, um, you can get an accessory and you can put it on them and it boosts your stats and, you know, knowing that this guy has agility and strength based things, if you had an item which improved their agility or strength, it would make these attacks a lot more powerful. So yes, we're going to keep moving through the world. Having done that attack, you might as well just keep going to the right. We're going to get a plus seven from this movement. And then there are some mountains, and in fact, we could probably see from the map where we're going, there is a gap here, so we should have been aiming for this gap. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, yeah, you can see it's showing the cost is two through the desert. So even though this looks like the best route to get to here, when you hover over this point, it then forces you down. Well, it suggests that you go through the grass. And in fact, if I want to go to there, but not better to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I suppose it's the same. The game is helpful in that regard. Uh, but you might as well go to here and then see where you're going to go next. Again, this looks like we're going to get supplies, but we're not. Because we would need to use Macerate. Uh, but we can go down to this well. So yeah, the ones with the green outline are ones which can give you supplies. This is a blue outline, which means it's going to give you some other thing. There is a crystal 
a catalyst crystal here, which I've never picked up, so we could go pick it up. But what I find is that the more into doomy darkness that you go, uh, the harder it is to survive. And we haven't really got people with good abilities on the map for that. So maybe we will ignore that for now. Um, there is a treasure chest here, which we need a lot pick to unpick. You may see the symbol, which is um, like a dagger going increasing. In certain areas, I think, the, the enemies, well, if this bar ever fills up, you end up having to fight. You're being ambushed. So the it's apparently the speed is increasing because we're in fearsome. The enemy level is two, but it's the spell is filling up quickly for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe because we're in a sandstorm. Um yeah, there's a lizard here that we could have got, but it's gonna cost us 14 to get to that lizard. And when you run out of supplies, then you start losing health. So we could choose to either go to this lizard first. Um, or we could fight this guy. In fact, it's suggesting that we do fight the guy. Uh, I think it's the same if we go to the lizard first, but we'll fight. Anyway, um, this fighting is different to the ambush fighting. I mean, it's the same, like, tactical battle. So last time we fought three people, now we're fighting four. Do we want to change anything? No. In fact, I don't know if fighting also resets the bar. Uh, now we have a choice. We can either do enough damage to kill someone outright, or we can do 14 damage times 4, which is uh, how this went up, 56? Something like that. So you can either do, you can probably do more than that if you just attack the one guy. And you can see what they're going to do. So this person's going to attack 4 people for 12 damage, which is 48. So it may be good to stop them doing that. This guy's going to attack two people for 20, but also they're relatively low down, so we may be able to stop that after this first attack. These two are just going to do buffs. So let's try and get rid of this guy. And in fact, because we didn't actually kill him fully, but his ability, if the target is then on less than 50% health, it does the extra 14 damage, which then killed him, which is good. Uh, we want to weaken this guy, I suppose, given the choice. Well, we can either weaken him or we can poison him, which will then do extra damage. But I think weakening him will be the way to go. He is neutral to it. But A, he is weakened, and B, he's not going to do anything. Okay, so this guy... They're both going to attack this guy. Uh, so we can either do a charge, which will attack this one and this one, or we can do more damage and make it such that we could probably finish this guy off. So this will do 40 damage, although they have resistance, so it won't actually... Um, get through it all, but we'll hit this guy breaking the shield. Um, now, dagger play. Who's going to be the most dangerous with the next attack? This is only going to do 21 damage, which is more than enough. It's going to break the shield and do damage. Um, they're weakened. They're only doing 10 damage for two, so this is technically worse. And we might be able to kill them outright anyway, although that's physical. Right, so we're going to actually... Uh, going to kill this guy at the back. And if we're going to do that, then should we do less damage but to more people? No, I think for now we'll just kill this guy. And then we can use the... because this is a different... Uh, this is magic, so this will do more damage to him. It's not going to make them 
stunned. And you still take damage, but it's all in the shield, which is fine. Uh, now we can do the defensive stare. We can kill that guy. Or we can stun. So it probably makes more sense to stun, even well. And then kill the one who's actually going to start trying to attack us. And this was not too difficult. Anyway, so we gain uh, more XP and we gain these things. Uh, there are combat consumables in the crystal, which we can't use yet because it's something that we have to unlock. And we also gain supplies, which is very useful. However, we are now slightly over encumbered. But it's not too much of a problem. Um, because we can just use the supplies. So we have two of those, and that gives us the supplies here. Are we still over encumbered? That little icon says yes. Uh, we might as well level someone up. Who do we want to level up? You sing as you go second, let's level you up. And then we have a choice, so we can bring someone's shield down to zero, but also brings our own shield down to zero. And we can get haste, which increases the speed of someone else. And deals 50% more damage with the next attack and gains five shields. Okay. Or we can get plus 10 health. Healing. Healing is interesting. Okay. Going going earlier is interesting. And healing is interesting. Uh, let's go with healing. I suppose they can't heal themselves. Um, yeah, we're still overweight. We could get rid of something which isn't that useful. So these shells are only worth 6, as is as it says here. So we can get rid of those because they're not that useful. Whereas this bracelet, even though it's not that useful, uh, is worth more. Would be nice if there was a way to sort them. Um, what are some other things that appear in this menu? Uh, so there's support, which I don't know what it's talking about. You have reputation with different peoples, and when you go visit one of their cities, then something's happened. We are the Makar, so the tree people, I guess. But there are these other races. So I once went to a terrace town, which I'll show you on the map, and couldn't really do much there. Couldn't even. Could I trade? I don't think so, because you needed to have Reputation 1, and that is something that you can... You could either, uh, with this hope... Uh, so there's this hope mechanic, and if it's positive, then more positive things happen to you. If, you. if it's negative, then more negative things happen to you. Maybe one of those things is improving the reputation, I think. Maybe increases the hope, or it's the other way around. I don't know, and you can swap things around. Um, but yes, on the map, like this place here, so if we knew that we wanted to go talk to the terraces, we can go to these people. I um, can't remember what yours is. Well, let's go there. Maybe yours is a dead tree. Well, and also there's this... There's a pirate group here, so we could go pick up this supplies and then go to the pirate group, but actually it doesn't look like it's worth it because that's going to be negative. Uh, you know, by the time we get here... We're losing lots of supplies. These dunes are very expensive to cross. Uh, if you right click, it tells you. So the sand is costing us five, really. That's. Oh, because it's desert lands. But the dune is like 10. So this may be a time when you would use reduce movement cost by two for the next 10 moves because we want to save some of that. Uh, we could go up here and see if there's a way around the genes. But, I don't know, it's risky. Well, let's... Sure. See if we can find something. Uh, I bet that we picked up a treasure, treasure chest and now we're overloaded again. Which is really good. Or not. Uh, let's level up. Who are we going to level up? We've got a lot of damage. Let's level up the Protector. And then the Raised Shield. Which 
gives protected to an ally. Oh, and the next incoming attack is diverted to the protecting ally. Hopefully that means that we become a protecting ally. I don't know. We'll go with that. We now have two chests, but we can't use them yet because we're too heavy. Uh, what else is the next worst thing? The bait is not useful. I can use bait. I, I can't use bait. Um... Yes, we're trying to... Or it has used bait. Sure. Okay, if it's used it. Did it do anything? Probably not. Um, we can go up here. It's going to cost us some health, though, because we're going to run out of supplies. So we might as well use our ability. Go up here. And... Where can we go next? We can get some more rope. We can get some more rope. Um, but we are overloaded again because we picked up something. It's fine. We'll drop, drop some bait. Not that it does anything. And there are events on the world map as well. So one night we saw the most spectacular display of shooting stars. We met some mechanic travelers that night and they were worried if the star map changed, they might lose their way. So we can explain the phenomenon and we get a, a bonus to our reputation with the mechanic people. And I suppose if you travel, uh, hover here, it should, if it's highlighted, it tells you what that is. There are nomadic desert folk who live off trading craftsmanship. They are fearsome in combat, apparently. Uh, we can improve a song. So because we have a sonnet, um, we have a 50-50 chance to gain a trait. Oh, it, I thought it said improve. It's improvise. So, so you either become necrophobic, which I don't think is a good trait, although it keeps listing it. This caravana falls below 75% health and health and hope is lost. Like, I think hope is a good thing. Um, or you can get space gems. But we already are over encumbered, so that's maybe not a good thing. And if we had whatever this ability is, then we would be able, or, I don't know, get an incandescent meteorite. And maybe these things are very useful. Uh, maybe those are fragments that we need for progression. I don't know. Let's go with this and see what happens. The only response was an awkward silence, which makes it sound like we have lost um, that. Uh, have you got a bad trait now? Dunno. I think it's given us the good trait. Maybe. But now we have lots more of these sonnets, which can be traded, which is good, but they are um over in company bring us. Um so yeah, we want to find a shop somewhere. We also want to find supplies somewhere. The map suggests we are not going in good directions. So yeah, you can kind of find yourself going uh, in bad directions. This is kind of the wrong way. This is an ambush. Um, because the bar filled up and we'll be fighting these guys. They don't look like they're going to cause too many problems. Uh, this guy is going to do 16 damage to two people, 21 damage to one person. They can't be stunned, but we might just be able to kill them outright. 45, yeah. So... It seems to do both. And then we can heal someone if we want to. Or we can just damage this person. Their weakness would mean that we hopefully don't get too much damage on us, indeed. And uh, because they're going to 
attack this person. We'll just test out and see if they become protected. If that diverts it to this person, hopefully it does. In fact, we probably won't even get there because we have broken their shield and we're just going to kill them. And not all the battles are this easy. The think well. You can definitely go to bits of the map which cause you pain. And the main thing which gets you is the supplies, I think. So we're going to lose 12% health just to get these supplies. I could have gone there. Um, and like, we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. There's another questing here. We might be able to get supplies. Uh, we can level up this person, so we will. And we can get more multi-damage or split multi-damage. Um, or we can get extra things if if we can kill a target. Well, let's say we're going to do split because we now have an attack for four. With one person, we now have another one for two. So we can either go here, which is kind of going backwards. Like, really, we should be aiming for here or here, you know, trying to level up before going to do one of those main quests. Uh, actually, I wonder... Yeah, it's still saying higher level recommended. So we do want to... Um, get fragments. We want to go to those places. Um, I mean, there's just nothing around us. This is why you need lots of supplies. Let's go here and see if it helps us with supplies. There is a big thing here. You can see what now we're losing health. Uh, so we can trade with this person, but actually it says it starts combat. Or you can ask for charity and decrease your hope. And then you can rob them, which says it gives you minus 20 supplies, but I'm hoping that means it gives you 20. Like... I'm going to click it and see if it actually gives you 20 and minus 20. Rob. No. Did I let them rob me? Unclear. Um, let's, seeing as we have no other real hope, let's click on this crystal and see what happens. I don't know. Was that a fragment? Possibly. Do I need to do something here? Crystal remains used. Anyway, we're going to take a similar approach to what we did the first time. We're going to attack this guy. Stop them attacking us. We're going to break the shield. In fact, it should kill them with the after damage. Um, we could even, with this person, even though we kind of want to stop these attacking, we could rely on the shield and use this to heal someone. I see you're important, so heal you. And hopefully our tanky guy can tank things. We can set them up to protect this person. Who then... I suppose that's physical. These are all physical attacks. Which maybe isn't that helpful. Because they have resistance to it. Sure. It doesn't really matter then. But we can stop one of them from attacking. Um, that would definitely kill them. Um, this person... Probably would... Do they have enough... They have enough shield to cover both of so let's just keep healing. Because that'll keep us alive on the world map longer. And uh, the best thing you can do, I think, is 
the well protect this guy so they'll take the, the attack then and then you're gonna try and kill this guy well we've shield broken him and then finish off the one who will wake up and then well I do want you to keep healing and heal this guy although they have the most health we do, in each run, get some potions, so... It's not the end of the world to have someone who's low on health, and I could use the potions on this guy, because it restores half the health. Anyway, we get a grenade and a black pearl, which are both not useful for me, because I need supplies. Um, we're going to go attack these people in a second. But we need to get rid of some things. Right, let's get rid of, rid of some more bait. Spider Fang. That's quite good. But of course, not the damage. Uh, um, yeah, so we have 29 experience. But we need more to level up. What I'm trying to do eventually is get to a point where we finish this run. But... It's going to, well, at the moment, we're doing a good job of surviving if, with zero supplies. So. Um, I'm assuming he's the strongest person. And he was going to attack the most people. Um, do we still want this person healing? Or do we want them to do something else? Because they're going to do 23 damage if we do nothing. Uh, and they're going to do 21. Sure, let's cause you some pain, shield break, and all. So yeah, we want this person probably to keep protecting, so we'll protect this person, gives them some shield. They lose health because they were poisoned, which Ignore shield, which I guess makes sense. Um, it's not going to quite kill this person, but close enough. Stop their... Well, stop them from doing anything. a bit of healing. Uh, you're still going to attack this guy, so we'll get more shield. Lose some health because of the poison. And then... Actually, if you split, you're still going to kill this guy, so you might as well split. Although, did it split this way? I mean, they should be able to take that damage, so we'll just do some more healing. And then we'll just go in for the kill. We win, again. We now have found some supplies from these people, which is helpful, unless you want to see the end of this run. Um, yeah, this is the health I was talking about. We have enough points to upgrade someone, so we're going to upgrade our assassin. So like them. I'm surprised this run we haven't found any armor. Anyway, this time we're leveling up a skill, and the one which I... Well, you have a choice. So you have dagger play, which is giving us two different choices for. Either you can have... Uh, extra bit of damage and when they're over 50% it does well under 50% it does more damage or you can choose 
Uh, how was this battle? Bleeding to... Oh, it, it does more bleeding. Gives more bleeding. So if the target has more less than 50% health, then it does extra bleeding. Or the charge inverts positions in the row, but then also gives easy target, which is what we use for doing double damage. I would say given that we use this one all the time, and just having more damage would be good. So we're going to take that one. Um, going to get rid of things that we don't want. Well, we would like to use them, I suppose. There is something here, which might be interesting. If we go like a step closer. I was hoping it would show us what it is. Um, but it has not. But there is hope over here. Small flower of Umama. Damaged fur. I suppose we can get some hope. So now you can see that as we now have hope, we have shield increases uh, all reputations plus one. Um, but to get to here, we have to go the super long way round. And maybe we don't even want to. And you can see, like, with no supplies, we're probably going to die soon. But first we have to fight some people, and these people look quite strong. Uh, I don't think I fought these people. Because I've gone out to a weird part of the map, which is probably you shouldn't do when you're relatively low level. Anyway, we're going to fight and hope that we can do something. Um, dagger play. So that would actually stop them from attacking. So we'll do that. We probably should have done it on this person. Very well. Um, restore health, yes please, to our strongest person. And maybe I should have seen who they were going to attack first. Uh, you definitely want more shields and you're going to attack this person. And you are going to... I don't know. Who's going to do more? You're going to give protected to the person behind you. Sure, that's not going to do much then, is it? And now you have a choice of severely dam damaging this person or killing this one. And that doesn't kill you. So I'll just kill you. Uh, we'll continue to heal. I feel like you do need a health improvement. So yeah, they protected the thing behind them, but I'm not sure that helps. Um, getting more shields might be useful, but I think they're going to die. Um, much like we'll probably die soon. I mean, I've been saying that for a while. Uh, another upgrade choice. Should we upgrade the healing aspect of it? Or should we improve something else? So you can improve the poison thing to do more damage, or the weakening thing to do more damage. I think we're using the health a lot, though. So let's, use, let's make that better. Uh, again, for because we have failed to trade... We are overweight. Well, let's get rid of you, because you're not that useful. Um, we can get damage spur, but we probably just throw it away. And then we have something which requires a pickaxe to get crystals out of. Maybe that's something that we need to do. But really, we have someone who's seriously injured. 
Um, we have picked up more of those shards, which we're immediately going to throw away then. And I mean, I could heal this, this person and this person, but let's just show you what happens when people die. Because I don't see us. Like, where are we even going? We're going to some weird place. Um, we get a random encounter. One inky night, we heard a strange, consistent tinkling sound in the middle of nowhere. Something with bells was staggering in our direction. Soon, a mask the meager being entered the halo of our fire. Terrified, we grabbed our weapons, but the creature seemed to ignore us and just kept moving forward. So we can let them pass, or we can try and take them down. Which loses us, loses us HP. Hope it's going to decrease regardless, but we'll get space gems if we do that. And we'll someone will die. Sure, let's get space gems. Um, are we immediately going to throw away the space gems? I mean, that's that'd be a real kick in the teeth, wouldn't it? Yeah, because it's just good for trading. Um, but let's let's drop this instead. And anyway, <clears throat> so we we've had someone. They said someone was going to die. We now two people die. We're doing this on purpose. This is why we're doing it. At some point, are we getting attacked again? Yeah, I mean, we'll lose this fight, because look how high level these people are. I mean, according to what we have. So it doesn't really matter who we're attacking, just going through the motions. We're going to be obliterated in like one strike. There you go. One hit dead. And another one. So the aim is really you want to walk around the map, level up, do the things it tells you to do. Potentially even keep your caravan as alive, but we weren't anywhere near being able to do that. And we died. Anyway. So, so ends our caravan's tale. We collected 10 memories because we didn't actually do that much, uh, because we just went off in a random direction. I would recommend you don't do that, even though I, it kind of made sense at the time, it didn't really. Uh, the carnival's luck. Recognising opportunities to seize was a major talent for the hungry exile to own. So I guess because we were starving for a lot of this, but anyway. Um, and then you can either go back to the main menu or start a new caravan. And when you start a new caravan, you're at the screen where we started before. Because um, it's a roguelite and you can improve things. So now that we're back in the crystal library, so the fragments that you can find in the world, apparently, uh, that was one of the quests. But I don't know if that is mining the things that we saw, the crystals, or whatever it is. Um, some of these are locked behind extra ones of those, so I have got some levels in these two. Meditation, because we saw that at the beginning, shield gain uh, gives us extra shields for our units. And oil stone, which does extra damage. But to level up further requires fragment, an extra fragment. Um, um, but some of them don't, so extra weight, so... I haven't had too much of a problem with weight, but because I couldn't find a trader this time, that we had a problem, so we could stick some points in there. Experience game means you have people who are two people who'd start on level two, possibly. Followers in the car cities. Uh, entering across the desert like caravanners became a real passion for some of the car to limit the number of accents. Schools now provided appropriate training. So we need to do the quest here, but it doesn't tell us what we get. Just as followers. Maybe that means that if we go to a new city that we'd have someone for free, because you can buy people if you go to the city and you've lost someone. Uh, Hydromancer is presumably another type of... Uh, that's another class. Genius. These are probably all classes, which are like common or rare or whatever. Um, fetishes. So yeah, really doing the quest is what I should be aiming for, because that's seemingly locked behind things. And on the world as well, more things. There are other quests that you can do, but this is um, Terrace of Reputation and Roads. So maybe there are roads there. Um, 
road construction between Makart and Terrace the cities. Permanent reputation bonus with the terraces. So, you know, roads probably means lower supply cost. That would help you. Uh, yeah, roads between different places. Seems like it'd be very useful. So, play it again and again, and you may get a run where you actually keep your people alive. Um, which I will try again and again, because this is a very interesting game. If you've made it this far, you probably liked the video, so please leave a like. If you want to see more like this, then please subscribe. And then all the other things that come with videos. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.